Free early warning weather. All right, as expected, the weekend was a rather soggy one across Connecticut. Many communities picking up at least an inch of rain. Two day totals, uh, certainly between two and three inches more commonplace uh, across the state, especially where you see some of those uh, shades of, of green that transition over to yellow. So for the Hartford area specifically, uh, the month of April was warmer than normal and also quite wet. Uh, it was the second warmest since records have been kept uh, with uh, the average temperature running over four degrees above average. Six inches of precip on the dot, a surplus of 2.12 inches, and we had a bit of a snow deficit. We do average just over an inch for the month. Of course, this month was uh, void of any sort of snow. Uh, as we now kick off the month of April, we're doing so a bit brighter and drier briefly. We've got temperatures here in the five o'clock hour, 55 to near 60 inland, same along the 95 corridor. Got a bit of a southerly breeze. Uh, certainly you felt that if you've been out and about today up at around 10 to 20 miles an hour. Still breezy tomorrow with a better chance for rain and, and less sunshine. Our view from Hartford right now, sun and clouds, 61 in our capital city from New Haven, more clouds than sunshine. You see Harkness Tower, great visibility overlooking the Yale campus again sitting at 60 and 57, a much brighter blue we're seeing coming in from southeast Connecticut with our view in New London. The opposite corner of the state, the northwest hills tracking a few showers moving from southwest to northeast, nothing too impactful. But certainly plan for showers this evening, tonight, tomorrow, in fact, for the next two or three days, all with the, this energy aloft that's spinning off across the Great Lakes. So numerous showers across New York and Pennsylvania. They'll pivot in our direction later on tonight, and uh, they'll be around throughout the day tomorrow. So this area of low pressure basically is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. It's a colder pool of air aloft, the daytime heating. We get the clouds, we get the showers, basically rinse, repeat, carbon copy it day after day. So overnight tonight, looking for temperatures to bottom out in the 40s with the scattered showers tomorrow. Uh, not raining all day long, but you want to have that umbrella on hand with that ongoing chance for showers in the morning right on through our Tuesday afternoon. It's also going to be noticeably cooler than today with highs only in the low and mid 50s, more than 10 degrees below average for this time of year. Wednesday, we'll start off with a lot of cloud cover. Our chance for showers increases through the afternoon into the evening time frame. You can see that counterclockwise churn or spin to the atmosphere again all thanks to that area of low pressure aloft. So uh, temps through the middle part of the week remain only in the low and mid 50s. Thursday, we may see some breaks in the clouds, some rays of sun, but highs a little bit cooler than the next couple of days. Then Friday going optimistically dry and also trending a bit brighter, also a bit milder. Highs near 60 by Friday as we head into and through the upcoming weekend. Mid and upper 60s, sun and clouds on Saturday, mostly sunny, 70 or better. And the warming trend continues into early next week week as we head into the low and mid 70s shoreline highs up near 60 Friday then trending uh, even milder over the upcoming weekend.